probably be so we need some nurses. We, we need some nurses then that have been working with him. We need the doctor. So who wants to be the nurses? I'll do the doctor. Okay, so Rachel's the doctor that we have said, we have high said, high. don't want to leave. Rachel said, you're the higher authority. You want to break the whole So we probably need. This is a psych doctor, ear doctor. <laughs> but he's still calling me a high doctor. So you need somebody to start talking to the patient. Yeah. Okay, so it could be LPS. Yeah. Yeah. We're waiting on yeah. LPS. So right now she does okay. have a couple nurses that have you know been working with him. Um, the doctor is going to have a nice job. This is, this is so, how it really so old in the ER. Can you go take some Bible signs and check on the patient? <laughs> 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 okay, so you guys enjoy your signs. Go ahead and get my Mark Madden right now. Come on. All right, well, we got it. We'll talk to him. Yeah. That's why I can't go. Okay, so he was agitated. He's calming down now. So maybe we've left him alone for a little while. And we're checking on him again. Thank you. 
you choose here? All right, you want to talk to Doug? Doug. Hi, Doug. I'm the ladies. How are you doing? No, oh, just beautiful, just wonderfully. I'm, I'm here because I love this place here. I'm enjoying all my time here and the people and everything is great. I just love them being here, really. Really? Why do you want to know? Is there uh, anything I can do for you right now? No. No. Would you like something to eat or drink? No. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I just want to be left alone. That's all I want to be is just left alone, all right? Somebody else has put me here. Use the let me help, help me help you approach. Like, okay, well, now that you're here, um, you know, there's a few things that we have to do to help me to get you out of here sooner. You know, go through the assessments, whatever. What did you call? No, I, uh, mm -hmm. I'll be a sailor or something. <laughs> anybody right now. I just like I'm so ticked off and I'm I'm just I'm stuck here and there's nothing anybody can do to help me so just just go away. Just I just don't want to talk to you right now. Could you negotiate with him, Tom? You'll give him his space if he just hand you an alcohol for something. Right. Doc, would you like to go somewhere private? Well, I would like to get out of here as it's like Well let me help you. Just don't let me out. And, and I don't know. I don't know why they, they want to keep me here in the first place. And, and I don't think that you can keep me here. I want to leave. I want to get out of here. And nobody's come here to, to, to do anything legally. That, that is, as far as I know, I'm not arrested. And I'm here. And they're supposed to keep me here. And they don't, they're not telling me why I'm supposed to be keep, kept here. So can somebody tell me why I can't leave? Because I want to leave. I want to get out of here, like right now. But if you say I can help you leave, but first. I can provide the psychoeducation for real quick. You want to tell them talk with someone else? Who do you call? Don, um, I just wanted to let you know, um, give you a little information. I know you're kind of frustrated. I know you're not sure why you're here. And I'm sure that's extremely agitating. Just want to let you know that an um, application for 5150, which is a 72 hour hold, has been filed. Um, we Why? Just need, what, is, what does that mean? What does that mean? It just means that we want to evaluate you, make sure that you're safe, you're not going to hurt yourself or others, and that you can care for yourself. We just need an LPS evaluator to come do a quick assessment. The faster we can do that, the faster we could see about um, starting your discharge planning, whether or not you're placed on that hold. Is that something that you might be willing to talk with us about? Well, why are you putting it on a hold? We well, haven't necessarily placed you on the hold yet. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I've been good while I've been here, right? I've, I've been following directions. I've been doing what you want me to do. And now you're going to put me on a hold because I've been cooperative? What the hell is that about? And I so very much um, appreciate all of your patience and all of your cooperation up to now. And um, I definitely want to help you 
to get out of here as soon as you can. You're not necessarily on hold yet. And, um, you know, if we do have to put you on hold, we'll uh, work on some plan on how to get you um, a safe discharge. And well, what are you going to do? Are you going to discharge me or are you going to hold me here? I don't know what the, what the hell's going on. Well, you so want? you're saying you're going to put me on a hold and then you're trying to get me out of here. What do you want? Make up your mind. What you, are you trying to do? Are you trying to keep me here or are you trying to, to not keep me here? Well, we first need an LPS evaluator to speak. What is an LPS? I don't know what LPS that means. LPS is a ladder Petri something. What the hell does that mean? It just, it's this person who's going to assess you to make sure that you're safe, and they're going to determine whether or not you were placed on the board. Would you mind speaking to someone like that? Well, could we give you some I just want time? out of here. That's, I've been good. I've been cooperative. Just let me out of here, all right? I just want to leave. I just want to leave and get out of here. And, and I don't know why you're keeping me here. And I don't know how, how you have the right to keep me here, either. I know you want to get out of here. I'm really sorry that, you know, at the moment you're not able to leave just yet. Um, I understand also that you kind of like your space. Um, is there any way that, you know, maybe... state line because she's got my kids. She was the one who put me on the 5150 in the first place. She was the one that got me the cops to, to bring me here because I was really upset and I was going off and I was yelling, I was screaming and I was, I was I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to get all crazy and everything, but it was like I was drunk, I'd been drinking a little bit. And so now she takes the kids, she calls me from the state line, she calls me taking my kids and so now she's left she's left and she's taking my kids and she's leaving she's probably going to her mother's somewhere up in Oregon someplace and so she's taking my kids with her so it's kind of like like almost kidnapping isn't it because because I'm supposed to have access to my kids 
and she's taking them and she's leaving with them. And so, can you get my kids back? Is that what you can do? Can you can you help me get my kids back? That's what that's what's upsetting me. So I'm not really I'm not I'm not concerned about anybody else. I'm not concerned about me. I'm just concerned about my kids. I want my kids back. How about we? Can you give me your wife's phone number so we can call her and talk to her? And you I, you I got the sure phone number. It's in the chart there. But if you sure call, she's probably going to just yell at you too. But she's. I know you want to. But can sure you get her back? She she's already left. She's already like at the state line. How are you going to get her back here? How are you going to get my kids back here? I know you're concerned about your kids, and you want to make sure that they're okay and they're safe. So that's the first thing we need to do, is call your wife, and that way you can be reassured that your kids are safe and that they're okay. Okay. Can someone call his wife? What is your wife's name? <coughs> and what are your kids' names? It's, it's, it's Louise. Louise? Yes, yeah, Louise. Okay. What are your kids' names? How old are they? And Jeremy, and there's two. There's Jeremy and, and Josh. And and now they're with her. So now she's probably Jeremy? now she's How old's now she's he's fourteen and 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 Josh ten, but they're probably they're they're probably, she's probably just gonna yell at you too, and she's not gonna bring him back because she's got him now. I mean, who's gonna believe me? I'm the one that's in the hospital. I'm the one that she's the one that's outside. Who's gonna believe me? They're always not gonna believe the guy. They're always not gonna believe the the the, the father, right? They're the she's the one with the with the control right now. I don't have any control right now, and I'm feeling totally out of control. You you have control. Where? Where do I have control? I'm stuck here. I'm here because people won't let me leave. And so I don't really think I have much control right now. Can, 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 you, can you hand me the, the nail clippers? Why? Let's get that out of your hands. Is that okay? Why? Why? What are you going to do if I don't? I'm not going to do anything, but, but you and I have got a good relationship right now. We're talking and, and I, I would like to see that continue. We're, we're, we're doing well. Have you gotten his wife on the phone? I'm calling right now. The doctor, are you, are you... Can we give you some medicine to make you relax? Are you going to snow me? Just like, pull me out? No, we're not going to snow you. I just want to snow me so I don't, I'm not just something a problem. To... I'm not a headache to you. Something. Something to calm you down a little bit, you know? Help your situation. Okay. Our social worker talked to your wife, okay? She was upset. Um, yeah. You think? She says she is going to stay with, with a friend tonight um, who is for the next, for the weekend, and then um, we can talk, you and your wife can talk in the next few days as soon as he's a little bit calmed down and we can figure things out from there. She wants to make sure that you're okay. She wants to make sure she's okay. She wants to make sure she's okay. okay. She was not angry on the phone. She was she was very reasonable. Concerned. She's concerned about you. She wants to make sure you're she's okay. pretty angry with me. She but she wants to make sure you're okay. What do you say, Louise? She wants to talk to Louise, you. you're Louise, right? That's the same name as she does. She wants to talk with you. Is that okay? No, I don't want to talk to her. After after the what she told me on the phone, I, I, I'll just kids? go off. I'll go off on her. How about your kids? What about my kids? You like to talk your kids. I just want my kids back. I just want her to not to steal my kids. She's kidnapping she, my kids right now. She said she's not stealing your kids. She said she's going to go stay with her friend for the weekend, and and she's concerned about you. Okay. That's not what she said on the phone. She was not concerned about me. I think you both got upset. She she was very reasonable on the phone with us. She she's she's concerned about you. She's your wife. She doesn't want your kids to see you like this. I don't want to, I don't want my kids to see me like this. So, so let's let's start working together to get to, to get you back to your kids, to get you better, make sure you're okay. All right, what's going to help? What's going to help? What's going to what? What's really going to help get my kids back? Really? Can you, you tell me that? You got to be in control of yourself. You. Okay, but I'm not in control right now. 
that, it's like you keep telling me to keep under control and be in control. I'm not in control. You're in control. How can we help you do that? Can, can I have the, the nurse from the behavioral health unit come talk to you? She, that is her specialty. She, she can talk to you, go through some questions. Um, and, and, then, and then she's going to put me on a hold no. and keep me here forever. Do you want to hurt yourself? If I can't have my kids? If I can't my, have my kids, I don't know. Then we need to be able to help you. I just don't know. What, I don't know how you're gonna. I, you know, I just, I just, I don't know how you're gonna help me. I just don't know. I don't know. You, 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 you people are asking me questions that I don't have the answer for right now. You keep asking me questions. I just don't have an answer for that. I, I'm, all I know is I'm here, I'm stuck here, you're in control, that's all I know for right now. Okay. I'm Kristen, I'm another LPS evaluator. How you doing? I heard you were concerned about your kids and they're staying for the weekend with your wife. They're safe. And you've got to just make sure that you're safe and you're at your best before you you know, you're able to see them again. Look, I was talking to the other lady. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. Well, that's what we're here for. We're able to, you know, help to what? you. To what? Help me do what? What is it that you'd like to do? I just want to see my kids. I just want to get out of here and see my kids. That's all I want right now. I understand. So why don't we go ahead and have a seat, and we can talk a little bit. Um, you know, the more I'm able to get to know you, <laughs> I can see what we can do to help with that. I don't know how that's going to help. It's going to help you to get out of here. How? How? Because I'm the one who's able to decide whether or not you need to stay for a few days to get strong enough to see your kids, or if, um, or if you're, you know, ready right now. We're going to talk a little bit and see where it goes. All right. So you have the control. You have the control. To keep me here or not, right? Mm -hmm. Myself that? along with the doctor. All right. So how do you how do you get me to get out of here then? So I need to speak with you a little bit. I need to have you answer some questions. I need to make sure you know your your arms hurt. I can see you hurt yourself a little bit. I, I want to make sure that that care. doesn't happen. I don't happen. care about me. I don't care about me. I just care about my kids. That's all I care about. But I, you need to be safe in order to be around your kids. You need to you know take care of yourself first before you can take care of your kids. So we need to make sure you're strong enough to do that. And then what? And then, it, and then it, I don't Our goal here what you're is saying, to make you feel strong enough and make sure that you're safe and you're strong enough so something that happened today doesn't happen again. I can tell you're really frustrated, you're upset, and I don't want that to happen again. All right, I, so I assume you don't want to either. Okay, so if I, if I cooperate, mm -hmm. if I cooperate, then, 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 then you can help me get out of here. Absolutely. All right, what do I have to do to cooperate to get out of here? Then that's what I want to do. First off, before we talk, would you mind handing over the nail clippers? Are you going to have these guys attack me? Or? Not at all. It, it would make me feel a little bit safer. Because I, I feel if, if, I, if I give you the control, I, I, I don't have much control here. But if, if, if the moment I do that, you, I, I'm feeling like these guys are just going to attack me. No, as, as long as you can hand those over, I can ask them to step aside, and, and I don't think we'll need them. All right, so if I cooperate, then, then you're going to see if you can get me out of here. Is that correct? Absolutely. You can just go ahead and put it on that table over there. And then what? And then we'll talk. And then that'll be the next step to getting you out of here. Okay, and then, then the step is what? I need to know what the step is. We're going to talk as, as long as I can determine that you're safe to be around yourself, you're safe around others, and you can take care of yourself, then Dr. You can, Felix as, as Marte, long as you are safe, one extension one one eight four. Dr. Felix Marte, please call extension 1184. Right. Mm -hmm. Promise? I, I promise. I'm going to sit over here, and as soon as you decide to put those down. All right. So, so I, I put it over there. 
put it over there so now I can leave. So now we're just going to speak a little bit about what happened. I want to, from your point of view, I want to find out what happened to get you here. I, I went crazy at the house and I've been drinking and doing some drugs and so I just went crazy and the cops came and beat me up and that's it. That's, and then they took me here. That's it. That's all I know. I don't remember anything else because I was a little drunk. And I'm sorry I got drunk. But that's all. You know, and now because I got drunk, now the, my kids are gone. And so I just want to see my kids. I want to get out of here. So that, that's, that's, that's what I need to do is get out of here. And, and, and so <coughs> you just, just, you know, I'm not going to hurt anybody. I swear to God I'm not going to hurt anybody. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to hurt anybody. I just, you know, I'm, so, I'm like sorry. I, I just before? don't. Is this the first time this has happened? No. And when this happens, have you, have you wound up in the hospital before? Yes. Not this one. And I can see how frustrated you are being here, and you're you're angry, and you're upset, and I'd really like to help you so that this doesn't happen again. Because I can tell you're a good guy, and I can tell you really care about your kids. I do. And you want to be a good dad. I do. I just don't know how. I don't know how to do that. And that's something, staying here a few days, we can really help you do. do. You know, it's going to take a little bit of time. Sounds like things like this might have happened before. It did. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It didn't turn out well. Okay. So That's probably why she's leaving is because this has happened before. Yeah. And I don't mean to get all upset. I don't mean to go crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, just things happen in my head. I don't know why. It just, it just happens and I can't control myself. <clears throat> well, what I think might be best is to have some doctors and some nurses and social workers work with you so that we can try to figure out why these things are going on in your head. So it doesn't happen again. So you can be that good dad that I know you are. And I know you're, you want to be the best dad for your kids because I can tell how much you love them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put you on that hold just so you can be the best dad you can be. And you're going to stay okay. here for a few days Against to, my will, to get better. On the hold, mm -hmm. to be the best I can be. Yeah. Just so you can get the treatment that it sounds like you need. So that this doesn't continue to happen. Okay, okay, I'll tell you right now what's going to help me. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you right now. Okay. Okay. I'm <clears throat> smiling. <laughs> 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 can, can I get some Dilaudid? Yeah. <laughs> that will help me. Okay, let me right. go check with the doctor a little bit. Just one moment, please. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.